Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechakadash, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings and salutations to the sincere Akim across the globe that's pushing his word and our truth and sincerity. Okay, it's the brother Yahweh Rock from GMS Houston, back once again. And like always, uh, I want to do a, Lord will, do an edifying lesson, all right? And this topic is concerning the fiery trial. Okay, so with that said, I'm going to just jump straight to the scripture I have here, which is uh, 1 Peter 4 and 12, okay? So 1 Peter 4 and 12, it says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you, okay? So it says, think it not strange the, uh, concerning the fiery trial, all right? And... That fiery trial is uh, something that we all must go through, all right? Uh, that's by the will of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, okay? Those of us that are caught into the faith, right? We must uh, go through this uh, fiery trial, which is uh, a purification stage, man. You know, various, uh, you know, trials, tribulations, man, you know, different uh, afflictions, all right, that uh, that'll come upon us, you know, but it's all part of uh, the Most High trying us, man. All right, you see, and it says thinking out of a strange thing. All right, and with that said, uh, I'm gonna get this uh, scripture here in Ecclesiasticus two and one. The point is in verse five, but I'm gonna start from the uh, first verse. Okay, so Ecclesiasticus two and one, my son. If thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Okay? So, right. You know, uh, once you come into this thing, you know, you're going to be put through a series of trials, man. You know, as the scripture said. All right, which is all done by the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Okay? Uh, it says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. Okay. Verse five. For gold is tried in the fire. An acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. All right. So I'm going to read that again. It says, For gold is tried in the fire. Okay. And oh, another scripture that came to mind, I believe, is in uh, Zechariah 13. Okay. It says, The, uh, the Lord is going to try, try us as gold is tried. Okay. So it's all a part of that process, man. You know, you look into how gold is made, you know, it goes through that uh that refining process, you know, that that uh intense heat, okay? To uh you know, rid of to get rid of all the impurities so that precious uh gold can come out. You know? Same thing with us. You see? You got to think about it, man, you know. Uh we've been walking as Gentiles, man. All right, before we came into this thing, you know, uh, you know, we was taught by the ways of the world, okay? We were serving other gods and idols. We was into all type of different things, man, okay? So uh, coming back to the, uh, you know, to this faith, you know, to uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, we got to go through that refining process, okay? You see, ultimately, uh, if it be of the will of the Most High, we'll come out uh, as that, you know, like precious gold, man. You know what I'm saying? You see? So, right, once again, Sirach or Ecclesiasticus 2 and 5. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him, and he will help thee order thy way aright, and trust in him. Okay? So that's the point. And there, uh, going back to uh, 1 Peter 4 and 12, okay, 
So it says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though something, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice, and as much as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's uh, sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Okay. If ye be reproached for the name of Yahweh Shah, happy are ye. For the spirit of glory and of the Most High rested upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. Okay. We have to go through these different uh, afflictions, you know, adversities, you know, suffer as Yahweh Shah suffer, man. Okay. Saying it's going to be different, uh, different trials, you know. That each individual, you know what I'm saying, on different levels are going to have to go through, man. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, right. It also says that the Most High is not going to put you through something that is beyond your strength. Loosely paraphrasing, man. Okay? So, you know, when we, you know, be put through a, a go through whatever it is, man, you know, always, you know, Go back to uh to this. You know what I'm saying? Call on Yahweh by Shum Yahweh Shah. Alright. You see what I'm saying? You know, don't uh become frustrated or be you know become uh carnal minded, you know, uh you know what I'm saying, when uh things start to go bad, you know, don't lose your wits, so to speak. But uh Call on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. All right. Uh, as I uh, read in uh, Ecclesiasticus, you know, the second chapter, right? Which I'll bring it out again. Uh, right. Ecclesiasticus 2 and 4. It says, Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low state. Okay? So. Uh, once again, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rechach, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the sincere Akim that's pushing this word in our truth and sincerity. Shalom.